Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Bring you guys another video, guys. In today's video, we're going to give you guys some Tilted Towers tips and tricks. And I figured I want to make a new series on the channel. We've been doing tips and tricks on the channel, but I wanted to do specific locations, you guys. So basically, there's all these map locations that we can go to, like Salty Springs, Tilted Towers, Pleasant Park, uh, Fatal Fields, anything like that. And a lot of people have tips or they want to learn tips at these specific locations, you guys. Because if you want to get more wins, the key to success is knowing the spot you're going to so if you want to win and you want to learn a specific spot that's the best way to go like for me for instance i love salty springs salty springs was the first place i went to and i went there probably 500 times i went there so many times to the point where i memorized the map so much to the point where i knew where every chest was i knew where every ammo crate was all the best wood was to loot to farm and all that stuff so that's basically what you want to do is if you want to get good at the game and want to get more wins, you got to pick a specific spot to get good at and master that spot. So if you guys want to master Tilted Towers, this is a perfect video for you. Or if you're just playing GBs or anything like that and you want Tilted Tower tips, this is a good video for you guys. But with that being said, let's get into the video. Starting off is the biggest tip that I have to give for anyone that wants to land at Tilted Towers. Guys, this is like the number one key. If you're not doing this correctly, it's going to be really hard to get kills in Tilted Towers just because Tilted Towers is really like it's kind of like a 50 50 if you don't get a good gun or and someone else gets a shotgun before you it's over for you there's nothing you can do about it you're gonna end up losing the fight and everything like that so the best suggestion and tip that i have for you guys is where to land at tilted towers now again keep in mind jumping out of the battle bus is a huge part of where to land in tilted towers because a lot of people want to jump out of the battle bus really late in the game or they want to jump right above tilted towers guys that's definitely not the move for tilted towers if you guys look at the image i have on screen right now this image shows the perfect spots to land so all the red that you see on the map bad spots this is a bad spot to jump out of the bus just because um by the time you get to tilted towers you're going to be so high up everyone's going to be landing already so anything that's red is a bad spot to try to open your parachute up at so basically above tilted towers right above it definitely a bad spot to do it because there's a lot of other people that have better techniques better than this um and then we have the green spots which the green spots are okay the green spots are actually pretty good they're actually probably one of the best spots to open up your shoot at and stuff like that the yellow spots those are kind of like eh, it's a little it's kind of pushing it a little close but it's it's you know it's it, it'll work you know it'll get you something decent but the green spots are the ones that you guys want to shoot for now as you guys can see there's a light blue spot in the river and then the lake has a blue location on it as well now you can barely see it in this image but basically all the water locations the whole river and the lake that's the best spot to end up opening your shoot at just because it's the lowest point of elevation on the map so if you go down to any of those locations right there in the river you're going to open up your shoot closer to the ground so it's going to help you be able to get to tilted towers a lot quicker again you guys this is probably the best tip that i can give you guys landing is probably 80% of the time, if you don't get a good landing right from the start, you're going to die right away. And that's exactly how Tilted Towers is. Because it's so packed, so compact, and so many people go there, it's literally going to be, if you don't get a good weapon at the start, you're just going to die right away. So that is probably the best tip that I can give you guys, is make sure you drop out of the battle bus at a good location. So if you guys want, take a picture of that image that I had on screen, and go ahead and save it in your phone or something like that, so that way you can always know when a perfect spot is to land at Tilted Towers. And then, of course, once once you get used to it once you get good at it and do it so many times you're not going to need the picture you're going to automatically know secondhand instinct you're going to be like okay this is where i have to go so you're just going to automatically drop right there after you have had a land down and you're getting it perfect every single time the next tip that i want you guys to do is actually play with friends it does make you a lot better at tilted towers just because tilted towers is one of those places where it, it, you can instantly die so if you have a friend to have your back it's okay if you get knocked down because you can easily get picked up and you're not having to restart every single time so playing with a friend helps Helps out a lot and I want to tell you guys now if you're doing duos it's probably easier than squads just as long as you guys stick together and duos make sure you and your teammates stick together land at the same building and always have each other's back communicate to each other back and forth and constantly let each other know I promise you you're gonna have a lot more fun playing with a friend as well just because again solos can get annoying if you land it tilted and just die instantly uh, it, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be harder there's just gonna be teams of two so as you guys can see right here coming on to the third tip is never chase anybody let them come to you you guys are gonna see exactly what I mean by this right here if somebody's running away from you don't chase 
chased them. Uh, like as you see right here, I shot him a little bit and then I built and this guy came chasing me. And what I did was I used the walls for protection and that's exactly what you need to do. Um, this guy ended up chasing me again right here. I got the walls as protection and that's what you want to do. You want to be able to have the person chase you so that way you can actually third person peek them and that's basically looking at them around the corner without them seeing you and then the second you see an open shot, perfect shot, that's when you need to take the shot, you guys. A lot of people make this mistake and they end up chasing people when they see somebody. That's not what you need to do. It's okay to play it extremely slow at Tilted Towers. It's okay to, at first, listen and try to find out where people are. And then when you see somebody, don't chase them. Let them come to you. Kill them around the corner. I know it sounds very, like, camper-like, but you're not really camping. You're more avoiding getting instantly shot to the head you know what i'm saying once you add these few steps to your gameplay and how you actually land and play tilted towers i promise you guys this alone is going to get you a little bit better at tilted towers again if you do these things it'll just make you a little bit better slowly but surely again landing at a good specific location aka landing and jumping out of the battle bus at a perfect time perfect location you also want to make sure that as you're in the air you're counting and just looking around the map before you get even close to the tilted towers and stuff and you're going into the city make sure you're looking around the map it's always good to know how many people are there at that city it's always good to know if it's going to be packed or if it's not going to be that many people again just because it just helps to know these things it just makes things a little bit easier towards the end of the game after you see all the people and how many people are actually going to be landing at tilted towers the next step you want to do is you want to be able to find a building that's very close to you one that you'll be able to perfectly land into again you don't want to pick a building and then stay above it gliding for a little bit and then land at the building you want to literally glide to the building and land on it perfectly at this right moment now again you're also going to be looking for weapons at this moment in time so basically when you're coming down from the map you need to constantly be looking for weapons again Find a weapon before anyone else. Whoever gets the weapon basically is the person that's probably going to end up winning. A lot of people end up dying first right away because someone lands before them. And when they land before them, they're able to get the weapon first. So the other person just ends up dying. So that's where it comes into play where you have to land. And again, if you see a shotgun at a certain location, try to go for that shotgun. As you guys can see in the gameplay playing in the background right now, I saw a shotgun laying on this part of the building. I never come here, but just because there was a shotgun there, I was like, okay, I need to go there. There's definitely no reason why I shouldn't go there to get that shotgun again tilted towers is 90 percent or probably 80 percent 80 percent shotgun fight so if you're not finding a shotgun it, you're probably going to end up dying because it's going to be a lot of up close to personal fights and another thing that i want to tell you guys is if you find a shield pot be sure to take that right away all my other tip videos i would say if you find a big pot try to hold it a little bit longer so that we can find little pots before you take the big pot so you're not wasting it but at tilted towers that's a different story the second you find a big pot you want to try to take that as soon as possible now again the reason i'm saying this is because you never know with tilted towers there could be people instantly in your building and the second they get to you they can easily just one pump you and kill you so that way you had no shield you, you ended up not taking the shield they ended up taking your shield because you never took it you were holding it trying to save it you just it's better to play it safe than to be sorry in this game now for the very last tip that i have for you guys i probably covered this a little bit earlier in the video is to practice you guys you want to make sure that you pick a specific city land there as many times as you possibly can so that way you can memorize the city you learn everything about it you learn all the chest locations at tilted towers so you're not sitting there wasting your time hitting every Every single room you want to go to the specific rooms that have the good chests and stuff like that another tip is if you're looting instantly just destroy furniture anything like that any dressers anything like that the beds the chairs the desk tables anything wood just try to destroy it as quick as possible just it takes a quick swing and you end up getting it it, it adds up extremely quick a lot of people end up running out of mats at tilted towers and they end up dying that way so again make sure that you have mats is easy all you got to do is just destroy all the chairs anything like that anything wood and small that's miscellaneous it can get you a lot of wood but guys with that being said i hope these tips actually help you out at tilted towers a lot you guys if you please can give this video a thumbs up we're going to be covering other cities and locations as well so guys leave down in the comments below the next city that you guys would love me to cover i'll be picking the winner from there the comment section down below so guys whatever you guys want to see salty springs pleasant park whatever's the next city that you want tips and tricks at again leave it down in the comment section below if we can get a thousand likes on this video i appreciate that more than anything with that being said guys thank you for all the support peace